Okay, I am on the grounds of the Tennessee State Capitol building. And uh, there's a couple things I'm gonna look at here. One thing in particular I wanna go see, but I thought we'd go around the tour, go around the outside of the building. So first of all, that is the Tennessee State Capitol. Um, it is in the middle of downtown Nashville. So uh, Nashville being the capital of Tennessee, makes sense the capital building being in the middle of Nashville. The first thing we're gonna look at here is uh, it's a statue and the guy's name is Sam Davis. I don't know who Sam Davis is. Let's see. Born 1842. Joined the Confederate Army in the Civil War. Uh, da -da -da -da. He was uniformed in Confederate. He was captured by the Fed Union. Uh, he was condemned to death and executed. So apparently he was captured as a Confederate spy. Um, and uh, doesn't say how he was executed, but I suspect he was probably hanged. I think that's usually what they did with spies. So that's the Sam Davis Confederate uh, Confederate spy. And then we're gonna go around here. This is, that's the Confederate, or the Confederate, Tennessee State Capitol building. We're gonna take a look over here. There's another, there's several monuments and statues around here, so I figure we're walking around this way to something in particular when we get over there. Um, see what this is. This is probably not the way it was intended to get to this. That's kind of a long drop. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see. This is a monument to... Uh, this looks like it might be another Confederate. This is Carmack's Pledge to the South, that says. Let's see if it says around the front. Tennessee being a state in the Confederacy, I suppose it would make sense that they still have a bunch of Confederate monuments here. Um, it just says Carmack. I don't know what that means. And it's blank. I'm not sure what that means. I wonder if there's something down, on the, down there that would uh, tell us what that means. Just tripped over my own damn feet. There's another statue over here we're gonna go take a look at. I feel like I'm doing a little bit of parkour here. I'm walking across the grass, I'm walking around. I suspect this is not how you're supposed to get from park to park, but I really don't wanna go all the way down there and walk on the walk on the sidewalk so I guess I'm gonna do it this way there's no signs that say keep off the grass so I'm gonna assume I'm okay it's another statue over here Let's see if we can tell who it is oh well, there's a there's a bell too I'll have to check out what the bell is well there's a statue down there as well This is Andrew Johnson, 17th President of the United States. And in a lot of people's books, probably not mine. He's probably not the worst, but he's definitely in the bottom five or 10 worst presidents we've ever had. Buchanan's gotta be in there. Woodrow Wilson's gotta be in there. Andrew Johnson's gotta be in there. Let's see what this is. This is, I'm assuming it's supposed to be a replica of the Liberty Bell. I'm assuming that this is not the original Liberty Bell that's in Philadelphia. This has to be some kind of a replica. But it's got the, it's got the crack in it. This is supposed, this has to be some kind of a replica of the Liberty Bell. And then there's another statue over here. I'll walk over here and see what this is. Got a little fountain here. Jackson. I bet this is going to be Andrew Jackson, who, in a, like Andrew Johnson, was the president. Also, like Andrew Johnson, was from Tennessee. His plantation is outside of town about, oh, I don't know, five or ten miles. I've been there before. Andrew Jackson is buried on the grounds of his 
plantation. It's called the Hermitage. It's got a really nice uh, tour of the place. Andrew Jackson, president, seventh president of the United States, commander of the victorious American forces at the Battle of New Orleans. Basically, his entire political career was based off winning the Battle of New Orleans, which was officially was a battle of the a battle in the War of 1812. However, by the time that battle was fought, England and the United States had signed a peace treaty over in, I think it was in France, they signed the peace treaty. But word had not gotten to the United States when they fought the battle that the peace had been signed. So they fought the battle. The United States won the battle. And a week or so later came news that the battle and everybody who had been killed in that battle was completely pointless because the war was over by the time the battle was fought. Um, which probably made the people who were killed in that battle feel real good that they threw away their lives for nothing. Here's another view of the Tennessee Capitol building. Tennessee was admitted to the Union in 1796 and then left the Union in 1861 and rejoined in 1865. Um, I don't know if this is what I'm here to see or not. Let's see here. This is not what I expected to see, if it is what I'm here to see. Let's see. Oh, yep, this is it. Okay. This is the tomb of President James Polk. Um, he was born in North Carolina, I believe. Yes, North Carolina. But he moved to uh, Tennessee when he was relatively young. And um, he became president... Was it, no, it was Tyler who became president when the president, I don't know if, I, I feel like Polk was a vice president who ended up being president because somebody died, but I could be wrong about that. I was thinking Tyler. Tyler became president when Harrison died. He's a voting senator, first place of Senate, state, federal government, member of the General Assembly, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, this is the grave, this is the tomb of President Polk. And that is, his wife is also buried here. Um, they died just around the corner, actually, just like a block or two that way. It was where they lived. And then he is buried here on the grounds of the Tennessee State Capitol. So, President Polk. One of my bucket list goals is to visit the grave of every president. And I had not visited the grave of President Polk before. So I can cross him off my list now. I have visited the Hermitage before where Andrew Jackson is buried, so we're probably not going to go there today. So the first Catholic church in Tennessee was built here. So, but yeah, this was a uh, president. Oh, got my hand in front of the camera. President, uh, President Polk back there was the reason I came here, reason we stopped here, so I could see the grave of President Polk. So. Mission accomplished. I think I'm going to head back to the car. There's a couple of Civil War sites just south of here that I think we're going to go take a look at on our way down. We're going to Auburn, Alabama for the Mizzou-Auburn game tomorrow, which I fully expect Mizzou to get handled badly. Um, but Grace is going to be in the marching band uh, down there. They're taking them. They, Mizzou takes the marching band to one game, one road game every year. And this year it's Auburn. So... We're going down to Auburn to see Grace play in the marching band and probably watch Mizzou get obliterated by Auburn. So, hope everyone has a good day.